Alright guys, so in the last video, what we did is we made a very simple program to test the user's age. We allowed them to input some number, which was their age, and if it was 18 or greater, we just said you may enter the website. If not, then we said nothing to see here. Simple stuff. But now what I want to do is, I want to say this. If they were allowed to enter the website, then let's just go ahead and give them a custom welcome message based on their gender. So, of course we need a variable for gender name it gender and we also need a place for them to input it so we'll just copy this and we'll put something like uh, what is your gender and make sure to give them options we'll say M slash F because well let me go ahead and type this so I don't forget gender percent C now the reason that you only always want to give them options is because if you just ask the question then some users may type in male, some users might type in dude, some users might just press F. You want to give them one option only on how they're supposed to format um, their answers. And also another thing I want to point out and you guys should probably do this all the time is sometimes whenever you put this percent %d for scan f butted right up against the quotation mark it sometimes can confuse your computer not a lot whenever the users inputting numbers but especially with characters and um, like words and stuff like that so it's common practice and I'll do it from now on to add a space between uh, the quotation mark and the percentage sign again it depends on um, your compiler and all that stuff but this is kind of behind the scenes stuff it's always good programming practice to leave that space again your program may work with it, without it but let's have it anyways so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and put our code right in here so basically we're gonna be putting an if statement inside another if statement so basically we're telling our computer to test this thing first and if it's true test something else and of course we want to test their gender so if gender equals equals to because we want to make sure it's exactly equal to and we'll just do a we'll say if they entered M first for male so single quotes M so right now it says you may enter this website with a space after it and so let's just go ahead and print out I don't know what would you print out for a guy something like dude so well let me go ahead and finish this code and then it'll be easy to see what's going on now if their gender equals F they must be a girl so what do we say to them my lady so basically I'll run this program right now show you guys a quick example how old are you I am 27 what is your gender I am a male hit enter and it says you may enter this website dude pretty cool now let's go ahead and run that again and we'll say okay but what if uh, I don't know it's my sister how old are you 15 hit enter what is your gender she is a female and hit enter one more time it says nothing to see here and that other decision never gets made because basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna say okay you're not above 18 so I'm gonna hop right down here I'm gonna actually skip all over all of this crap right here and I don't even use that gender variable ever again now I'll actually show you guys what I'm talking about right now say that uh, we actually didn't use that space and I know it works on uh, or it doesn't work on this compiler and we try to run this program how old are you okay looking good 27 hit enter Oh, what the heck it didn't even it just ran right past that scan F right here and it didn't even give me another option so this gender variable never even gets filled it pretty much is a bug and it uh, skips over the program so if you ever you know want to make a program with a bug then that's how you do that why would you want to do that you would never want to do that <laughs> so don't, just don't do that I'm just showing you guys um, make sure you have your spaces in there from now on and that's what we're going to be doing so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys later